have the best pizza in the world. And, I, and I, I'm absolutely positive it is. So tonight, in front of you to start, you have a Vernaccia de San Gimigiano from Rocchia del Machia. It's a 2008 fruity, kind of dry, has a really, really nice finish, smooth. It's a great wine for that little piece of pizza, piece of cheese. Next, they're going to pour uh, Ricasoli. It's a super Tuscan. It's 2007. It's Sangiovese and Merlot. Six months in barrique, so it's six months aged in small barrels. It's not one of those big, giant super Tuscans. It's like a little brother. And then we have two wines with that. A Morlino de Scansano. Morlino is a great varietal. It's a genetic clone of Sangiovese. So it's a Sangiovese-based wine of Tuscany. This wine sees large oak. By large oak, we mean it would be up to the top of this roof, you know, as wide as a table. The next wine is a Fontarutoli. It's from Mazze, which is a very famous family in Italy, and they own a beautiful estate. Uh, this is, again, a baby super Tuscan. It's 70% Sangiovese, 30% below. Again, we see that international varietal, international appeal. This, this wine was one of my favorites as we tasted the wines tonight. So a Rosso de Montalcino, so a baby Brunello, it's DOC, 100% Sangiovese. And then we have a Morlino de Scansano again, and we pair these together because this one's aged in small oak. So again, it's a Sangiovese base, and it has a little chili giallo, which is an indigenous variety to Tuscany. So this is kind of an old school Morlino de Scansano. So this is a wine largely from Sangiovese, very pleasant, very round tasting, uh, made by Carlo Farina, one of the most important Italian winemakers. And uh, I think it gives you a pretty good idea of the evolution in Italian wines in the past 30 or 40 years. They are pouring the right glass. It's called Fadiolo from Mazze. So you have two wines to compare in this course. We're going to bring out the uh, pasta with wild mushrooms next. We make all of our pasta here at Undici Homemade. We use only Italian flour. Uh, the Italian flour is made by Caputo. It makes a huge difference when you make pasta uh, by hand. Tony's going to tell you a little bit about the next two, two wines. Both of these wines that you're drinking are from the 2006 vintage. And you should know the vintage is an important consideration for Italian wines. Uh, the Italians say that vintage of the century happens about twice a decade. And 2006 and 2004 were both very good vintages pretty much throughout the entire country. I, I prefer slightly the Badiola, but you know, we make a lot of wines you prefer whichever one you really prefer. You don't necessarily agree with me. But uh, Badiola is made by the Mazze family. Uh, they've been making wine since 1435. So by now they probably know a little bit about what they're doing. This wine has more Merlot in it, about 30% Merlot. It's softer, it's rounder. I wouldn't age these wines. I would drink them. Even though it was a great vintage, these are not Amarone or County Classico Reserva or Brunello di Montalcino. These are wines to enjoy young. Okay, this is a guarantee. The more wine you drink, the louder this room gets. Guaranteed. In the back is our social media chef. Everybody should have one of these on their payroll. This guy, right now we're streaming to Brazil, Cuba, Canada, Mexico, Spain, Italy. They're watching us live on the video right here, Ustream. We need your help. We need your help. So we ask everybody when we need your help to go to Yelp with a Y. If you had a good experience here, and if you like Tony Bernoni. Okay, if you're drinking really good wine, if you're eating good food, if you like what's happening tonight, go to Yelp.com and give us a review. Okay, when we talk about Italian wines, there's a classification system, 
And right now, you're drinking a DOC wine in the Rosso and in the Moralino de Scansano. That's kind of the second level. It's a classified wine. It's grown in the geographic location. It has to be bottled in that location. And uh, there's a formulation that they have to follow to meet the DOC standard. A DOCG wine, the highest level. The Renaccia that you drank first was a DOCG wine. The difference between DOC and DOCG is it's guaranteed. How do they guarantee it? Well, they can't guarantee the quality in the bottle, but they can guarantee that they're using the right grapes. They can guarantee that they're using the right formulation. How do they do that? They have to send samples to a testing group. They test it. If they don't like it or think that it's abiding by the formula, using the proper grapes, they make them declassify it. What does that mean? A bottle of DOCG wine, for example, a DOCG Brunello. In 2003, a lot of people had to declassify the Brunello because they found that they weren't following the formulation requirements. So a DOCG Brunello comes to me or you at 70, 75, 80 bucks. That same wine, if it's declassified because they cheated, is five bucks. Okay? Huge financial consequence if you get caught cheating. Italy has 20 regions, which is similar to our states, and they have about 190 provinces, which are similar to our counties. And almost every province in Italy is a wine producing province. You find wine all over it. And one of the nicest things is you drive five miles outside of Florence, you're in wine country. You drive three miles outside of Rome, you're in Frascati, you're in wine country. So you have your cities, there's not so much of a suburban sprawl. You go right from the city usually to a country setting. Hey, enjoy the wines, enjoy the rest of the evening. I'll table hop a little bit after you.